<clears throat> so this was uh, 60 MMS3 flow. Uh, it wasn't terribly fast, and it's very quiet when it runs. It's very deceiving how fast it's going versus, I guess, what it looks like. I don't know, but so this is a vase mode rose. It's like a four-minute print. I just pulled up an old print to kind of see, you know, how these servos are going to work. So, so you can see I mounted them directly, and I made a little adapter plate uh, here. And these motors right now are about 50 Celsius, 50, 55. I got a little thermistor right here that's, oh, it's not touching. And I could look in the software. Let's see what the temperature is there. It's around 44. It's around 44 right now. Um, the chamber's open. It's still rather warm in here. And um, so what I'm dealing with right now is tuning the, um, the gain on the motors. They're very stiff. Well, it's turned off now because the print's over. But uh, it moves fairly free. Um, but let's take a look here. So you see there's some issues, oh, there we go. There's an issue here. I don't know if this is related to the servos or not. It's probably tuning. Um, the quality seems to look okay. I don't know how much faster I can push this because of it being a vase mode. Um, we're gonna run out of cooling. not too bad it's really not too bad of a print so these are one of the first prints uh, kind of testing this out and it definitely is not plug-and-play uh, I just didn't slap them in here and and uh, I did run auto tuning and since I have two motors for each axis, I had to disable one motor and auto-tune one motor and then take, take and transfer those values to, to the other drives. Um, I did do X and Y separately, and the numbers, I, I don't understand how, but they're the same. So, so we're going to be goofing around some more here and trying to see what we can do. Um, but so far it's it's super quiet. It's amazing how quiet these servos are. I, I home the machine and all I can hear is the Z moving. Uh, so, so anyway, we'll see what happens. <laughs> 